Welcome to Learn and Love Music. I'm Dwayne Halbert, and I'm pleased today to present the last movement of Ravel's Sonatine. As you remember, we did the other two movements earlier, but we saved the best till the last, and actually we saved the most difficult one for the last. Ravel was a fine pianist. He performed the first and second movements in concert, but he never performed the third movement because it was too difficult. So it presents a lot of challenges to musicians, and today we're going to look at three reasons why this is such a special and challenging piece for pianists. Before we begin, I want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our channel. So let's get started with Ravel Sonatine, Third Movement. What makes Ravel's music so exciting? Reason number one, it's the motives. In the beginning of this piece, Ravel uses what I call a trumpet motive. It sounds like this. And the second motive is what I call the slithering theme. It sounds like a snake, very kind of chromatic and a little bit uncomfortable. It sounds like this. Not much of a theme, but it provides a lot of variety in the music. And the third motive is taken from the first movement. This is called cyclical writing. What it means is composers might write a theme in the first movement and then bring it back for the last movement. And that theme sounds like this. It's rather repetitive. What's special about these motives? It's what Ravel does with them. And that brings us up to our second point. Reason number two, texture. Texture is what goes on outside of the melody. And a lot of times it's moving sixteenths or triplets. For example, toward the beginning of the piece, we have this theme that has this left hand. call that an ostinato, it's just a repeated pattern over and over. While the left hand is doing that pattern, the right hand has that opening melody again, and it sounds like this when we put it all together. Another example of texture is using a trill to color a melody. So a trill happens in the second page, it sounds like this. It's like jumping up and down. Then he puts a melody with that little trill. So we have melody and we have accompaniment all in one hand. And a third example of texture would be toward the end of the piece where he uses sixteenths that pass between the right hand and the left hand as your texture. So if I just did the texture by itself, it would sound like this. Kind of monotonous, but you put that melody on top of it and it sounds like this. practice that goes into those kinds of passages, but it's all about the texture that surrounds the melody. And as you can tell, it's difficult to be able to bring out all that technique and still have the melody heard. It's one of the challenges of this fantastic piece. And finally, reason number three, the harmonies that he uses in this piece. At the beginning of the piece, you'll hear a harmony that sounds like this. It's a half-diminished chord. It's used a lot in Impressionistic music. But he puts it between the hands and it makes it sort of an acrobatic kind of harmonic effect. The second example of harmonies are these shifting chords 
it's marked agite or agitated. When I just play the chords themselves, they sound a little dissonant, so... But you put a little pedal in, color a melody on top, and those harmonies really come alive. And the third example of harmonies is where Ravel uses an augmented chord. The augmented chord is kind of like a very unusual chord. It has all major thirds in it, and it's used a lot in the Impressionistic period. Listen to these notes when I play them without a melody. Augmented. Then what Ravel does is he puts this monotonous line on the top, adds the right hand, and adds the left hand. Put them all together. And it's brilliant. So I've given you three reasons why this sonatine last movement is so spectacular. So check out our companion video where you can hear the entire performance of the third movement. And you might even check back on previous weeks where I've done the first and the second movement as well. Thanks for watching Learn and Love Music. I'll see you next time.